Sakyans have always been popular in Thailand, but they've been gaining attention internationally after being seen on a few MMA fighters and some celebrities, most notably Angelina Jolie. This has made getting a traditional Thai tattoo an awesome souvenir for many visitors when visiting Thailand. What is a Sakyan tattoo? The Sakyan is a traditional Thai tattoo that's a combination of an image talisman and magical text applied by a holy man called a Sakyan master. This is done using a magical tool, a steel needle called a chem, usually using the hand poke method. After the tattoo has been applied, it's then blessed to charge the magical and spiritual components. In Thai culture, the Sakyan offers protection to the wearer by changing personal qualities or situations in a person's life. The Sakyan consists of three parts. First, the design, which is the actual image of the tattoo. Second, the kata, or magical script, around the design. The kata is written in ancient magical languages, notably Pali, Kuma, and Lana language in northern Thailand. And third, the activation of the Sakyan, which are chants and blessings. Thai people believe the Sakyan is a spiritual pact with a commitment to the Buddha and Buddhist principles. While you do not need to be a Buddhist to receive a Sakyan, you do need to have a commitment to leading a good life. And it's for this reason the Sakyan tattoo is held so highly in the Thai culture. Sakyan masters actually go to some lengths to prevent them being done by those who are unqualified. Most notably, the Sakyan designs you see online or in books have been purposely created with nonsensical text to make the designs devoid of magic. Some actually even contain the copyright notice of the original designer within the gibberish. Sakyan masters will use a stencil to ensure a nice looking tattoo, but they never copy the text. Instead, they replace the useless text with the real magical kata, and they do it freehand for each person on an individual basis as required. When you select the Sakyan design, you choose something that represents what you want or desire. Monks generally do not choose a design for you. They can help with suggestions if the recipient doesn't really know what design is best. But you know, usually, if you're seeking spiritual assistance in your life, you generally have an idea of what and why. Monks choosing your design by seeing your aura for the price of a packet of cigarettes are myths created by Western bloggers to explain an experience they didn't understand. In their attempts to do the adventure by themselves, they ended up creating a lot of misinformation in their articles. So let's clear some of those up. What is a Sakyant Master? A Sakyant Master is someone who not only has specialist training in magical spells and blessings, but also lives a life of spiritual purity, which is required to activate the Sakyan. Most Sakyant Masters will first learn their skills in the monastery life as a monk. But not all Buddhist temples are Sakyant temples or teach Sakyants to the monks. In fact, the Sakyant temples are pretty rare around Thailand today, mostly in small rural areas. The most famous of these specialist temples is called Wat Bang Pra, which is located about 50 kilometers outside of Bangkok. Wat Bang Pra is the largest and oldest Sakyant temple in Thailand. Monks will study for years learning how to read and write the magical text and learn the specialized Buddhist and ancient blessing. Each temple creates a lineage of specific designs and blessings that they then teach. The different lineage explains why there can be different designs for the same magical purpose. While some monks are contented to live the life of a Buddhist monk, many may want to live a normal life but still provide their spiritual skills to help others in the community. When they leave the monkhood, they can become an Arjan, which is similar to a shaman in other cultures. As an Arjan, the Sakyan master is also able to learn additional styles of designs and knowledge beyond their temple lineage. Both Sakyan Arjans and monks at the temple will provide the Sakyan from a sacred and holy room, especially for the use of magical practice. These rooms are called Samnaks. Almost all Sakyans are made in these sacred and holy Samnaks, partly for tradition, partly for honoring the Buddha, and to serve as a magical space for spiritual energies. 
The correct term is Sakyan Tattoo, but it's often also known and promoted by tattoo studios as bamboo tattoo, hand poked or traditional style. The bottom line is, you can't get a real Sakyan from a tattoo artist at a studio. In fact, it's highly disrespectful both on the part of the customer and the tattoo artist. At first, this might seem odd because so many tattoo shops in Thailand will display Sakyan designs in the front of their shops or have the words bamboo or traditional style tattoo on the shop windows. Some tattoo shops even have listings of the meaning of the Sakyan on their website to entice unsuspecting customers. A tattoo artist or shop can and do make nice looking tattoos using a needle at the end of a chopstick looking bit of wood. But this is really just a tourist gimmick that they can give to the customer afterwards as a souvenir of their traditional style tattoo. Almost all tattoo artists prefer to use a tattoo machine if given the choice. However, a tattooist cannot read, understand or change the magical script. They merely copy the meaningless squibbles into the replicas they create. No tattoo artist will activate or bless the fake they just made. Let's face it. If your ethical standards do not have a problem tricking tourists with fake representations of a culturally important tradition, you hardly qualify to offer spiritual blessings. It's not difficult to see the difference of the experience you have at a tattoo shop compared to the one that you'd have with a real Sakyan. There are plenty of real Sakyan masters all over Thailand, many who have Google Map and Facebook listings. So finding a real Sakyant master is actually the easy part. What becomes a little bit more difficult is that not too many Sakyant masters have a need to speak English. Remember, the Sakyant is a personalized magical ritual to aid your life. So you really need to be able to explain your desires and reasons to the master. A Sakyant master is going to be pretty reluctant to create magical assistance if they don't understand why you're there. Additionally, the spiritual elements of the experience will often be very confusing without prior understanding or having the experience explained to you. It helps to find a Sakyan master who speaks English or use a multilingual guide who can translate and explain the whole process to you. Now, don't worry too much about using a guide or a Sakyan service. All real Sakyans are done for much less than a tattoo studio would charge even including paying the guide to explain and translate for you. Guides will also help to ensure that both temple monks and Sakyant masters are available. The Sakyant masters have many duties to perform, the Sakyant only being one aspect of their craft. Using a Thai-speaking person to call and confirm an appointment helps avoid the disappointment of showing up, but they're either busy with locals or simply not there. There are a few reasons you might consider getting your Sakyan tattoo in Chiang Mai. First is the cost. Everything is cheaper in Chiang Mai, including Sakyans. You'll find that the cost of an authentic Sakyan in Northern Thailand can be half to a fourth of the price of Bangkok or Phuket. Many people find they can actually fly to Chiang Mai, get a couple of Sakyans and stay for a few days on holiday for a similar price as getting the Sakyan and other popular tourist areas around Thailand. Second, the beauty. Chiang Mai is a city of temples and mountain forests. Life is slower, simpler and more relaxed here. If you're going to get a Sakyan, which is after all a spiritual event, Chiang Mai's tranquility and respect for Buddha's traditions can't be matched. You'll tend not to find this atmosphere in some naks and busy and noisy streets like Bangkok or being surrounded by partying tourists like you might find in Phuket or the islands. Third, the knowledge versus the lineage. In Chiang Mai, Sakyant masters help each other and share knowledge. This allows masters in northern Thailand to extend their knowledge and skills beyond what they were taught in their lineage while they were monks. In other parts of Thailand, the Sakyant master's teacher becomes an important part of their identity and they often don't mix with masters from other lineage for some reason. And the number one reason is Sakyan Chiang Mai. Starting in 2017 by a Sakyan guy called Nana, at the suggestion of some of the temple monks. You see, the monks wanted someone they trust to represent them and the authentic traditions of the Sakyan. 
Nana built it, and the monks came, spreading the word to other Sakyant masters to join. Sakyan Chiang Mai is a co-op of many local masters, both monks and Arjans, who wanted to ensure that tourists were able to get a real Sakyan and understand the meaning and the significance of the experience. The staff at Sakyan Chiang Mai are amazing people, full stop. Just read the hundreds of reviews online, mentioning them going over and beyond people's expectations. The staff are also trained and trusted by the Sakyant masters to assist in the personalization of over 200 different Sakyant designs for the guests. They will then explain and assist in the whole Sakyant process so that every guest knows what is happening and why. All you really need to do is make an appointment and turn up. Everything else is taken care of for you. So let's join a few of the Sakyan Chiang Mai's guests and have a look at the different types of Sakyan services there are to choose from. Sakyan Chiang Mai's in-house Sakyan. This option is available for men, females and couples and it's unique to Sakyan Chiang Mai. From the two sacred Samnak rooms located within Sakyan Chiang Mai's physical location, different Sakyan masters provide an authentic Sakyan tattoo and blessing on a daily rotation. The in-house service allows you to book in one-hour time slots, which is enough time for a small to medium-sized Sakyant and blessing. If you want to have more than one Sakyant, a larger design, or share the experience with others, then you're able to book additional hour slots to suit. When you arrive, you can talk to the staff about your intentions and desires, and they'll help you select a design. If you have a particular design in mind, they will assist in personalizing it just for you and explaining to the Sakyant master why this design was selected and any customizations. For example, some designs deal with sexuality and attraction. If you are same-sex attracted, the magic and blessing is changed to suit you. In Thailand, no one cares about your sexual preferences, not even monks. The staff will then explain to you the process and experience that you're about to have providing suitable clothing if needed, and placing your donation in the offering plate. You're then introduced to the Sakyan master and shown how to make your offering. They then show you step by step what to do along the way. The experience is often personal, so unless they are needed, the staff will return every 10 to 15 minutes to check on you and take photos for you, allowing you to fully engage in the experience. After the Sakyan's finished, you're shown how to receive the blessing and thank the Arjan. They then make you a cup of tea to relax and mentally come back from the spiritual experience and space, either in the front of the shop to chat with other guests or in the meditation garden. When you're ready, they provide you with medical care, explain the Sakyan rules and give you tattoo aftercare instructions for the best results. The in-house option is great for those who are on a budget or time limitation groups, couples and people who would prefer not to be sitting on a hard concrete floor in the open heat of Thailand at a temple. The temple visit is a three-hour tour to remote temples in the beautiful rural countryside for those that want to get their Sakyan old school. Sakyan Chiang Mai uses four or five monks at Buddhist temples that provide Sakyans. Each of these start at their inner city location. Now booking is essential as temple monks have many other duties to perform apart from providing Sakyans. They need to call the temple abbot and request the Sakyant monk's time so that they're available for you. Just like the in-house service, you come to the shop and go over your design selections and any customizations you want to have. They'll then make sure you're dressed appropriately to visit a temple and provide clothing if needed. You're then taken to the temple, which is about 30 to 45 kilometers outside of Chiang Mai city. Here, just like the in-house service, the guides will explain to the monk what designs have been selected and why, along with any special requests in changing the magical spells and blessing. The guide will show you how to make your Sakyan offering, take photos and assist in the process, explaining the protocols along the way. When your Sakyan is finished, you'll be shown how to accept the blessing and thank the monk with a Y. 
monks cannot perform a sakyan on a female within the temple. So for females and couples who wish to receive the sakyan to the temple, Sakyan Chiang Mai offers the temple monk blessing option. Here, the temples also have arjans that provide sakyans alongside of the monks. The sakyan arjan will provide the actual sakyan itself and then the monk will do the blessing for you. Once finished, you return to Sakyan Chiang Mai, where you're given a cup of tea, medical treatment for the new tattoo, and have the Sakyan rules and aftercare instructions explained to you. If you're coming to Thailand and you want a traditional Thai tattoo, do get one from an authentic and real Sakyan master. Sakyans are a highly valued spiritual part of Thai traditions and culture. You can get a tattoo anywhere in the world, but only in Thailand can you get an authentic Sakyan experience. And the real experience is one of the coolest things you can do while in Thailand.